Here we go again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to view and edit customers, contacts on Zero accounting software. So in the previous video, I showed you how to add a contact, add a customer by going to contacts here, clicking on new contact. And the contact that we added, the customer we added was printing supplies LTD. This list, while we're here, has some great features we can search. So you can see that in this video, in the previous video, I scrolled all the way down to find printing supplies. That's not too bad if say you have 10, 20 contacts on here, but if you have hundreds, scrolling through these names is obviously going to be time consuming. You can just search for your contact up here. If I put printing, then we have printing supplies showing. You can also change how the information is displayed down here. So you can see that to the right here, we have name with an arrow up. So these are shown in alphabetical order. If I click on here and click reverse, it will show things in reverse alphabetical order. So let's go back, name, reverse, it's back in alphabetical order. You can also show the information by email, by the date that the contact was added by what you owe the contact or what they owe you. So if you want to see the customers that owe you the most, click they owe. You can put this in reverse and then you'll see that Ridgeway University owes us the most. Then it's D-I-I-S-R and then it's Bayside Club and then we have the others going down. So that's how you use this list here. Let's go back to alphabetical order like so. Okay, so let's bring up our printing supplies. And if I click on printing supplies, I'll be taken to this contacts record, this customer's record. You can see a lot of the information showing on this page is information I added in the previous video. If I want to edit any of this information, let's say this contact has changed name or the contact person has changed or I want to change a default or the phone number or add a phone number. All I need to do is once I'm in the contacts record is go to the top right here and click edit. When I click edit, I'm taken back to this screen, which will be very familiar to you if you watched the previous video. So let's say we want to add an additional phone number, a mobile number. We can do that. And let's say we also want to change the default default to sales. I can click save and close. We're taken back to the customer's record, the contacts record. You can see the mobile numbers now showing and this default has changed. So that's how you edit contacts. You simply just find the contact you wish to edit, say basket case, go to the top right here, click edit, edit what you need to edit, then click save. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to raise sales invoices for customers on Xero.